Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you all of you peoples are having a great day. I finally got all the 2x4s to build the other half of the half pipe. I still need to cut them though because they come in 8 foot lengths because that's what they need for building houses. So that's 96 inches. I need 94 and a half. So I need 1 and a half inches cut off. That's all. There's just so little I need cut off. Yet I still need to cut them, every single one of them. Anybody that's built an 8 foot ramp that has had it so the wood completely covers it. Like this one, where there's no gap on the side. Knows my pain. It's just so annoying to have to cut that little bit off because it just... They make them in other lengths, but they are like two inches too short or two inches too long. Dusty. Now the 2x4s are cut, I can start assembling the actual quarter pipe part of the half pipe. I just don't have enough room right here, so I actually need to move that. So now I don't have enough room to assemble the thing. I have one of the boards in because I need that thing to stand up, so. I'm trying out these new screws for this half. So far, I hate them. They are these. They're like triple coated some sort of something. And they're a square and Phillips head. They also don't have the self-tapping. They're just normal screw. Before I had stainless steel self-tapping square head screws. Oh, no, I remember why I used the stainless steel, because I wanted it to, yeah. Okay, anyways, I can replace the these with stainless eventually. I'm trying out these because they were like half the price and they're supposed to, I just dropped. They're supposed to not rust, so let's hope they're right. So again, I'm doing eight inch increments, I guess, I don't know. Eight inches between each board, like up this thingy. Every eight inches I'm putting in a board, basically. It's raining. Dang you sky. On a side note though, this thing's mostly done. All the 2 by 4s are in there except for again, the ones that go right by the coping. Because those are the hardest ones to put in, so I've left them out so far. All the other 2 by 4s are in though, so we do have a mostly complete shell for the half pipe. Except for this thing needs to be extended a lot back here. Currently, it's around 8, 6, 24 inches long, it needs to be twice as long this way. I also just learned, I thought I had most of the holes dug for this, but no. There needs to be a hole there, and there, and about right there. Oh, and I finally found potentially a great material for the top of the ramps. Mediocrely hard to come by, you need to know where to look. When you know where to look though, it's like 20 bucks I think a sheet. I will give you more information tomorrow when I have it and I'm gonna use it. But for it, I don't want to ruin this stuff because it's actually supposed to last a few years. I want to paint the threshold and that thing. So let's take this ramp apart so I will be able to do that. So the screws did a very crappy job on holding this down, so I can just um, pick it up. And this right here, where it's black, like this, is where the metal touched it. The metal discolors the masonite around it. It's gonna do the same for the wood, so that's why I'm painting it. So, um, the weather, not very good anymore. Um, let's run, I guess. Come on, weather, you were good like 20 minutes ago. Great, so he just locked me out. So the rain finally stopped pouring water on us, so I'm back to painting that thing. Basically all I need to do is I just need to get all the rust off with this thing, it's like a, if you can read that, you're amazing at reading. I don't know what it's called, it's like little, it's kind of like scotch bright pads, but like for metal. And then I got spray paint. So I just need to use this thing to get all the rust off of the thing after it's done drying. So 
so I have the majority of the rest off, so now after it is completely dry, then I can paint it. So yes, since we have that drying over there, we might as well then peel off the masonite. Don't think we're gonna need, need to unscrew the screws. I think. Yep. Now I have a ramp with nothing on it and lots of screws sticking out that would hurt if you tried to use it. So we will still actually have to unscrew the screws because, well, we need them to screw in the other material. But it did just peel off, so masonite does not last very long for ramps. I think I'm going to have to end the video here though. We do have the ramp completely ready for new stuff tomorrow except for, I mean, actually taking off the screws. But it's mostly ready. And that is like half painted. So, so yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Like it if you liked it, subscribe if you liked it, and again, click everywhere for stuff. Thank you for watching. See ya.